yo 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 what is up it is your boy deafness 45 and you can see zoe there she's actually right on the side of me this time not dragging behind or way up in front it's uh saturday afternoon shit it's probably about 2 30 3 o'clock had a crazy crazy morning i've actually kind of a crazy couple mornings um Shout out to everybody that uh, on Twitter that gave me the thumbs up on the uh, paying off the car, get that taken care of early. I really appreciate it. Much love to all you guys, uh, as well as showing love on my post about my son starting to be an entrepreneur like his old, old man is. Um, and speaking of entrepreneurs, this is kind of what this uh, daily walk, daily walk vlog is going to be about today. It's a special edition from your boy Deafness45. So, if you're watching, you're lucky. Now, anyway, what I'm going to cover is my new hobby, my new side business, and ways and tips to help you if you want to start doing it. What to look for? When to go? You things to help you make things easier on you. So, first off, my new little hobby is uh, treasure hunting, I would call it. My little tagline is, one person's junk is another man's treasure. And I truly, honestly believe that. Not all junk is treasure, but there's a lot of stuff in garage sales you find. Goodwills as well as savers and thrift shops that you can those are a little bit harder prices are usually a little bit higher But there's still opportunity to be made now You start buying a lot of little stuff, you know, you're gonna find TI 83 83 plus graphic calculators. It's a big one. Boom Buy them for a dollar two bucks three bucks five bucks, whatever sell them for 20 40 bucks 20 to 40 bucks right on eBay Here's, so what I did is I ordered some of those big blue Ikea bags. You can get them on eBay uh, for like two bucks a piece. Big shopping totes, so like the 19 gallon ones. And buy yourself two or three of those. Put them in your vehicle. Maybe open one up right from the get-go in the morning, in the back or whatever. And just start setting stuff in those bags, you know, from each stop. Whatever you pick up. Now, how do I find these sales? That's a good question. I'll put a link uh, to the app in the description. It's called uh, Garage Sale or Yard Sale Treasure Map. You can download it on Apple or Android. And what it'll do is you can pick the day or you can even plan ahead if people have them stored in there, but there'll be more on the day that you go onto it. You open it up and it's gonna give you little icons and they may have photos on some of the listings and they may tell you kind of what's available. Now, when should you start? Well, a lot of sales start like Thursdays. If you can get out Thursday morning or Thursday afternoon, try to stop where you can. Otherwise, the best times to go are gonna be right away in the morning until about noon. Now granted, people really don't, People, some people are just going to garage sales to find things that they really need. Not everybody's treasure hunting. Now. I'm going to tell you more things to look for and things that have value. However, I want to explain something that happened today. Shout out to old boy that was following me. That saw me at one stop he walked up. I would already purchased what I was buying. He saw I had a couple of VHS tapes, Disney tapes, right? The original Lion King and one other one. Sometimes you can sell us for decent money, the original ones. And so... He got in his car, and he was following me. I got to the next garage sale stop, and he got out, and he was parked a little bit ways back because I got a closer spot, and I just got out casually. He saw me getting out, and he legit ran to this garage sale. I didn't run, nothing. Because in my mind, I'm pretty sure I, I knew he didn't know what the hell he was really looking for. What did he do? He made the biggest mistake now it didn't pan out for anybody in this situation but it could have been a big payday for me and could have really screwed him because he really didn't know what he was looking for he ran right to wherever their movies were now 
If I'm going into a Goodwill, a thrift store, I'm going to a garage sale, the movies, unless they're right there when you walk up, the movies and CDs and DVDs and all that shit, games, are going to be probably one of the last things I go to, unless there's a game system. Game systems are always nice if you get the right price on it. Any of them, 64s, Game Cubes especially, PS3s, PS2s, regular PlayStations if you can find them that still work. But he ran right to the movies and DVDs and whatever. And you know what was right when you walked up that he went ran right past? All the sports stuff. Now, another thing you're looking for is like more or less more full size bats or if they're smaller bats like really better high end like Easton and Demarney and all those other brands uh, Louisville Slugger but higher brand ones right but if you find full size softball and baseball bats what you do is you get some cleaner and you clean them good get all the ink off, off them and you can resell a lot of them for good money now if you don't believe me or you think I'm full of BS there's an easy way to teach yourself what to look for go on eBay put in model numbers go to the sold listings just like you would if you're in the hobby and you check card you're trying to check on card value or what you should sell something for or buy something for look at the sold listings you'd be amazed you'd be shocked now the first thing I'm gonna probably try to look at if I go into a Goodwill or a savers or a thrift shop, if they carry it as electronics. Okay? Remember this. Electronics. Brand name VCRs. Yes, I said it, VCRs. Combo units. iPad little players, MP3 players. Right? If any of that stuff works, it's in decent shape. And you can test at Goodwills and stuff, and if it's at a garage sale, they should let you play, at least plug it in. You're not going to be able to probably hook it to a TV on like on a VCR or something. You should be able to test it and uh, just make sure it works, right? If it comes with a remote, it's a bonus. If it doesn't have a remote, it's okay. You'll, you can still sell it. People buy universal remotes. That's another thing. Remote controls. Buy them if they're cheap. A quarter, 50 cents a buck. You resell them for five or ten bucks, right? It's an easy, quick sale and it's easy to ship. Now you might think electronics, stereo receivers, again game systems, any of them. Video games, really the older ones, N64s, GameCube, GameCube games, Wii games, right titles. Not everything, so don't take this as I'm saying every Wii game is going to make you rich. No, but any Mario's, Mario Karts. I picked up a Mario Kart today, Wii game. Uh, paid two bucks for it, resells on them were... Anywhere from like 15 to 25 bucks. So, right there. That paid for, that one game paid for all my gas today. Right? Also picked up some other, oh, I found a Monopoly. The old original Deluxe with the uh, good heavy duty like pieces, one of the first ones. Paid 10 for it. But I think I'm going to be able to sell it for a pretty decent penny so the right board games if you can find stuff sealed still and guys when I talk about VCRs and combo players and stuff you know what you know what a brand name is right it's like Sony Toshiba Samsung you know those are gonna be RCA those are gonna be brand names um, I'm trying to think of like an off brand uh, it's not coming to my mind right now because I usually don't buy off brand stuff but you can usually tell and really the older VCRs that are heavy, like made of metal still if they work. I got one yesterday at a trailer park garage sale, Sony one, really nice, heavy duty. So those other things you're looking for. Now, toys, obviously old vintage, anything vintage, but one thing that's a big heavy hitter, especially on eBay, is Nerf guns. Like not, don't go after the small little tiny ones, but if you can find them in good shape and they still work, ones that, uh, you know, have like the multi-barrel that'll shoot, you know, like 10 or 12. Shit, you can get a 50-round one, I think. I picked up a couple of those today. 
I picked up a Popeye the Sailor like doll, old vintage doll toy for my boy Chris Plum and shout out to him. Um, again, baseball bats. Don't forget about that. Um, snow globes. So, you know, you walk up to these garage sales and some of these are old people and you're like, shit, they're not going to have anything good. Check to see if they have any snow globes. If all the water's still in them, uh, they're not chipped. Those resell very well. And Disney ones in particular are really good. Well, going back to VHS movies, the only VHS movies you're really going to have any luck with are like the original, some of the original Disney ones. So don't waste too much time on VHS tapes, but they are out there. You can't find them. They're a needle in a haystack. That's why that kid running to the movies and stuff and running by everything else was just a waste, right? Um... You know, you can think about bigger things, too, that you wouldn't ship, that you could resell on Craigslist. Use your mind. Get outside the box. I bought a Haro BMX bike, right? Used. Seat's in great condition. Body's in great condition. You know, the bolts on the front wheel are a little rusted. I can get new bolts. Hell, I could put a new wheel and rim on it on the front, even though the wheels are in great condition, and there won't be any rust on it, right? Tighten the chain a little bit. It's got pegs on the back. I can easily resell that thing for 150 200 bucks i paid ten dollars for it right i'm not going to ship that but i can sell it locally um i'm trying to think of what else yeah like old like models you'd be shocked but people have like old models still packed you know with the wrapper old race car models and you name it if the price is right jump on it couple guys I would recommend you guys check out as I'm just starting this venture and I'm trying to help some of you others out there that know me and don't know them or haven't found them what inspired me what drove me to do this no number one I think it's fun and I can find stuff for myself too sometimes and you do trust me just don't overspend on yourself you know unless it's really things you've really wanted remember it's a garage sale one man's junk is another man's treasure right um but what was i gonna say do, 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 do. i lost the brain oh a couple people i would check out on youtube is cincinnati picker it's just cincinnati picker um and garage flips those two guys inspired me to do this my grandmother also has inspired me she believe it or not i have a one of my couches i have she got it at a garage sale in fact she furnished a lot of her house she got a lot of her clothes you know through her years at garage sales and she'd always talk about it and she would always wonder why people paid so much for stuff like brand new if it was in good shape and honestly she is set she's 93 94 years old she's probably one of the only women in her nursing home i don't know for sure i can't not verify this but probably one of the only ones that has the money and is actually paying and not on not having the government pay and they have some inheritance for her kids her sons which i think she already did give them some money before they switched everything over before she went in the nursing home because legally there's some shit it's got to be binded with all your accounts so look into that stuff too as you guys get older if you have kids and you're going to inherit stuff make sure you guys have a game plan to look into a lot of that you know before something goes awry or to a point where you can't make decisions right or you can't talk about it that you have your will set up properly and two, that um, you uh, you know get with an attorney or somebody that deals with that stuff to figure out so that you know you can divvy out some of your money if you have it uh, to your children or other things. And nothing, not everything has to be sold and just locked into your nursing care or whatever is you know going on. So. 
Um, just another side tip, guys. I'm always thinking. But, uh, yeah, super excited, super proud. Um, I found a lot of great stuff. I will do a video here probably in the next couple weeks. Once I get stuff listed and I get to see what sells. I started an eBay store. It's called Who Knew Treasures. There's nothing listed yet. I'll start that probably tomorrow or during the evening nights here this week after work. Um, I got, I think, four or five VCR or VCR DVD combos. I think a total I paid 30 or 40 bucks. I should have about 250 to 300 dollars in those right there. So, I mean, just looking at the margins, right? And that's after your fees and everything else. You figure eBay is going to take 15 percent. PayPal is going to take 3%, so that's 18%. So whatever you sell it for and what you bought it for, minus out the 18% and figure out the shipping. And if you're going to charge shipping or if you're going to be a free shipping on everything and up the price a little bit, but you got to be competitive with everybody else. Um, but remember, start Thursdays if you can. I'll put a link in the, in the bottom as far as the app I use. And, you know, there'll be more of the day of when you click on the day. Like I said, you can go ahead to, like, if it's Friday, you can go click on Saturday, Sunday. And it'll, it'll, it's all over the U.S. So, I mean, if you really want to get traveling, you could. Um, I probably made, I would say, a good 40 stops this morning. 40 stops in, what, four hours? So, and... It'll be well worth it. You know, time is money. I get it. Trust me. I'm one that always says, I'm not going to waste my time on uh, making five bucks or ten bucks in an hour. It's got to be worth it to me. And I think you guys are going to find that if you want to start doing something like this, it's a great avenue for extra, um, extra income. You know, I think about people like Coker and Sarah... Um, I'm sure they're doing fine, but I'm just, th other things they could do, and they could do that shit together, which would be even funner. Garage flips, him and his wife do it. Cincinnati Picker, he brings his wife sometimes, but usually does it himself. Me, I go solo, you know, but hey, maybe I'll bring my daughters, or one of my daughters, or both, or all three sometime, or sometimes, when they'll want to go. So... I'm going to sign off, guys. Again, look for another video to do with this on kind of what I've sold and where it's at and what I paid for it. And I'll do all that on the computer so I can pull up the sold listings, show you what it was. Um, but remember, like sporting equipment, full-size bats, used bats, gloves, baseball gloves, Nerf guns, women or snow globes in good condition, uh, Disney VHSs, Video games, especially older ones, game systems, VCRs, VCR DVD combos, right? Oh, another one I forgot. Big one. Old keyboards. When you type on the buttons, the heart the the higher the sound they click, the better. The more noise they make. You'll be shocked. Some of those that some people may put out for free. You could turn around and sell for 80 bucks or 100 bucks. Don't believe me? Go so check out eBay, guys. I'm going to sign off here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helps at least one of you in some way. And look forward to more of my little entrepreneur tidbit bits on my daily walk vlogs as well as other things. If you're new to this channel, if you could, like it, leave a comment, maybe subscribe. Come hang out with us more. I also go live. I do live streams. Uh, I haven't done much lately. I did a card show the other week, but I'm going to the Nationals for the hobby here soon with some friends. I will be pretty much doing that the whole time. So catch me on Twitter at IamDeafness45. And until next time, peace!